and dear friends uh, i am venkat shiv kumar now i am deliberating the judgment of honorable supreme court uh, civil petition 10673 of 18 and very important cases for discussion one is innovative industries iil and another one is copying kamineni steels hyderabad so the judgments of nclt hyderabad and uh, the nclt mumbai before nclat and then it has gone to supreme court what are the issues i in short there are about 150 pages uh, judgment so i am trying to shorten it more like a pc but very important issues uh, for us to deliberate in future now what are the facts the facts are the kamineni power and steel uh, is a corporate debtor who applied for initiation of cir proceedings under section 10 of the uh, insolvency and bankruptcy code and uh, with what are the issues uh, that are decided by nclat that we have come for discussion for the appeal for the honorable supreme court the nclt mumbai directed the initiation of liquidation proceedings against nc uh, they have, they have produced they have given the order nclt mumbai directed the initiation of liquidation proceedings and nclat upheld the same which was done as a result of rejection of the resolution plan by committee of creditors so in that case there is a clear uh, judgment the resolution plan was not available within that uh, cirp period of 270 days and when there is no uh, uh, the plan or nothing resolution applicants are not there then eventually they have to order for liquidation as per section 33 and 34 of the i i insolvency in bankruptcy court and the same was challenged before nclat and it has uh, upheld it now with regard to kamineni nclat hyderabad has approved the resolution plan and uh, ordered them uh, to continue the operations after 270 days but uh, technically speaking that nclt has approved on a uh, the technically if you see that the 75% is the voting share required but uh, the resolution plan did not muster 75% and therefore the uh the uh, committee of creditors uh, rejected it could not uh, vote for that full power of 75% however the managing director of kamineni approached the nclt saying that if you are going to exclude uh, those people who have not participated not voted not deliberated then you exclude them for computation of that uh, voting share then my plan uh, touches 78% in that case i should be given uh, the my plan should be up, as, uh, taken as approved and then that up, pro- approval should be given however nclat took the stand that uh, technically speaking it is 75% of the total voting share and total voting share is this much and six, you got only 66% hence uh, uh, the order of the uh, nclat hyderabad is wrong and uh, order them to initiate insolvency proceedings so ncl 18 in both the cases ordered for liquidation in one case it has up- upheld the decision of the nclt mumbai and uh, there was no complication with regard to that judgment of nclt mumbai but uh, here uh, the adjudicating authority of hyderabad uh, took a very uh, took a decision uh, a reforming decision you can say and that is what is the law now and uh, wherein he clearly said that uh, if suppose uh, 100 is the total voting share and then 10% don't uh, uh, come then that 90% becomes 100 suppose 90% of the people attend and then 10% people don't attend and all the 90% of the persons vote it should be considered as unanimous 100% voting that was the law which was not considered by nclat at that point in time but in the uh, other judgment uh, recently given uh, tisco they have very clearly mentioned that point so the law is well settled what was a 
judgment of NCLT Hyderabad, uh, which was rejected by NCLAT, which has become the law. Uh, like that in the Gopalan's case also, uh, the dissenting judge Fazl, uh, who talked about the natural justice as a divine law, which was re rejected by the entire majority of the judges, later on uh, from 60, it, uh, 1940, 50 to 1964, till Menaka Gandhi's case came in, uh, that was the rule. But Menaka Gandhi's case established the importance of natural justice. Uh, so most of the times you can see in our history of constitution, the dissenting judges uh, who gave orders, they become the order of the law, law of the day, that is the thing. Anyway, we will go back to our discussion in this matter. So the issues, let us first take common in steels, Hyderabad. I am just dwelling on that uh, common in steels issue. And um, uh, what are the facts of the case? Uh, um, for better appreciation of the evidence, in short, the the community steals uh, approach the court themselves. The applicant is the corporate debtor, ask, seeking the initiation of CARP proceedings under Section 10 of the Code, and then IRP was uh, the case was admitted. The IRP was appointed in the first COC, uh, which could, took place in 8 uh, 8 March 2017. Uh, the uh, RP's appointment was confirmed by the uh, financial creditors and uh, he, he constituted the first COC and then uh, the IRP was confirmed as RP and thereafter a uh, appointment of valuers uh, has been confirmed by the COC and the valuers are asked to proceed for valuation. Now the second COC which was conducted on 6th April, uh, the projections uh, were made to keep the company as a going concern, what are the expenses, what are the revenues, how to run this business for uh, keeping the concern as a going concern is the most important part of the CIRP process uh, and working capital required for the same uh, was discussed. The bankers, the financial creditors took note of the same and uh, the operations of the bank accounts were frozen and transferred to the name of the IRP, ARP and that was also taken to record. Then the th third COC was conducted on 12th uh, May. Uh, the corporate data made a presentation of resolution plans. He has given three proposals. Uh, it was resolved to appoint SBI Capital Markets to prepare an action plan so as to enable the creditors to assess the viability of the resolution plans. Then came the fourth COC on 20th, 27th June. The proposal was uh, uh, discussed, um, uh, renewed and a draft uh, uh, economic, uh, techno-economic viability report by SBA Capitals was presented and an approval uh, extending the CIA approval required for extending the CIA period by 90 days was also given there. And the adjudicating authority accordingly after application extended the period by 90 days starting from 9th August 2017. Now the 6th COC was conducted and the CD submitted, um, the corporate data submitted the expression of interest from one company, AREA group of companies to infuse 150 crores uh, as uh, in the form of debentures. Then uh, the 7th COC dated 26th September, several options were deliberated by the stakeholders that is the bankers, the financial creditors uh, and everything remained uh, inconclusive. So therefore another meeting was called 8 COC and the resolution plan was put to vote. What happened is that uh, Indian Bank uh, holding 22.33% and uh, uh, JM Financials uh, ARC holding 12%, 13% uh, rejected outright. So that uh, he was a CD, the corporate debtor was asked to file, come out with some OTS plan and uh, they were uh, OTS to, and they directed to send their OTS proposal through email to all the bankers and uh, the CD gave a proposal to infuse uh, 525 crores as one time settlement and Indian bank asked them to increase it to 600 crores and uh, ninth COC was conducted and was put to vote and uh, approval was given by 55.73% IOB 
uh, rejected and gave reasons for rejection 15.15% and OBC Central Bank and Bank of Maharashtra uh, were holding 29.12% were undecided. Later Central Bank also rejected the proposal. So the overview of that uh, taken to consideration on 30th October people who approved is 66.67% rejected is 26.97% that is IOB and the Central Bank and undecided was 6636 so the resolution plan did not uh, muster that 75% voting share as mandated in the court the resolution um, submitted uh, resolution, uh, resolution, uh, resolution professional submitted outcome to the honorable adjudicating authority the managing director also uh, present himself and uh, appeared and then argued that if you don't take that undecided fellow persons then uh, if you take the only people who have attended the meeting as 100% and their voting is taken I will touch more than 75% therefore technically you should consider that uh, my plan is approved and the uh, NCLT uh, agreed for that uh, and Hyderabad agreed agreed that this is a correct approach and then ordered for uh, uh, and this uh, resolution plan to be put into work, uh, put into action. That is what has happened. And uh, you know that this particular thing is again challenged uh, before the uh, NCLAT and which rejected that uh, the order of the NCLT Hyderabad. Uh, directed him to initiate, uh, relook at it and initiate the uh, insolvency proceedings liquidation as per section 33 of the code. This is the part one for discussion.